I flew out to South Africa on Friday morning. 14 hours later, I landed in my hometown, Johannesburg. And the moment I got off the plane, I felt something, a voice inside reminding me of what I had forgotten. So, this is a road I used to drive on pretty much my entire young life because of apartheid. Uh, black people had to live in certain areas and then white people had to live in other areas. But white people like how the black people cook, so they need them to come to their houses. So there were roads that connected the areas. And this was one of those roads. All the taxis, all the buses, all the transport that shipped the people between Soweto and Johannesburg. This is it. Oi, oi! That's what we do in South Africa. We, we don't have road rage, we have road joy. We just smile at each other and we, we honk. It was very confusing for me when I first got to New York. I thought everyone was my friend. They were not. So we're heading to my grandmother's house now. Uh, I told her we're on the way, but that doesn't mean she'll be there. So um, you never know. You might meet my grandmother, you might not. Ingutu. Ingutu vele. So, welcome to Soweto. This is where I grew up, this is where everything goes down. Uh, and yes, we walk in the streets. We played in the streets. This was the playground. This is where you hung out with your friends. This is where everything went down. Sanbonani! And your neighbors scream when you walk by. It's what we all do. What's amazing about this place is that nothing's changed, in a good way. It's like a museum, that's what it is. And we're here at my grandmother's house. Welcome to it. This is where I grew up. This wall was a lot taller when I was younger. But uh, let's see if she's here. So this is where I grew up. This was the driveway. We kick it off with the driveway. This is where we used to want to park our cars. We didn't have any cars, but we still built driveways because that's what life is all about, ambition. I'll show you some of the security features that I installed in the house. We've got what's known as a intruder defense mechanism system of glass. Every single one of these bottles, I drank what was inside. Balling. This is where the magic happens. Anybody can have a toilet inside the house, but it takes a real baller to have a toilet outside the house. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I'm about to make some magic happen. MTV Cribs, your boy. Oh wait, there's no toilet paper, hold on. First things first, whenever you come into an African person's house, you greet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is greet. Coco. Coco. Hello, Coco. Ninja ni Coco. How are you, Coco? Can can we come in? I've got I've got some camera people, Coco. Are we fine to come in? If you say no, it's fine. I don't mind. No, they can come in. Okay, okay. Coco, um, I want you. I want to welcome you to my show. Mm -hmm. And I want to introduce you to some of my friends and my viewers. Mm -hmm. I brought them to South Africa to show them what it's like. So they said because I'm coming, they want to meet you and they want me to ask you questions about my life. You're one of my grandchildren. I always look at that photograph. You still remember? I remember. In the mm. Elias Gorg. Mm. Every morning, can't you forget it? Morning Trevor. <laughs> and he never answers. <laughs> How old are you now? 91? Yeah, 91, nine months. When you get to 91, now you count months? Yeah, 91 years, nine months. We're here because the, the concert mm. at FNB Stadium is celebrating 100 years of Nelson Mandela. Hey, Madiba. Madiba. <sighs> what was the first thing you remember about Nelson Mandela? He was just like our God wow. on earth. Really? Because people had not seen a black man who was an attorney. We were not allowed. Wow. Nursing, mm. teaching, mm. policemen for a black man. That's all. So it was a wonder even for Umadiba, 
for young people, it's very hard for them to understand how scary it was to be a black person living in South Africa during that time. But everybody was scared of the police. Flying squads. Uh -huh. Each and every street has a flying squad. Mm -hmm. The knock at 3 a.m. My police, we used to call them black jacks. Just like that. Dress up, let's go. Yeah. And they were so tall, all of them. When you see white guys like this, do they remind you of those police? Yeah. That's what you remind my grandmother of. I hope you're happy bringing memories of Flying Squad into my house. There are some people who say now, because some people don't have jobs and because it's tough in South Africa, it would be better to go back to apartheid. No, no, thank you. It wouldn't be better. Why not? Oh, no, Trevor. The laws of apartheid. Uh -huh. Do you know what it's like to dig for potatoes with your hands? In the farms, uh -huh. no pay. And then if one of these people working here dies, the room caught up, and you still plant potatoes wow. on top of the farm. You're digging for potatoes with your hands, mm -hmm. and if somebody dies from exhaustion next to you, you dig a hole, you put them in that hole, and then you carry on digging those potatoes. What, what was my contribution? How was, was I fighting apartheid? Not knowing. Not knowing? You were a kid. But you were born a crime. Uh, How could you fight apartheid? But I, I told them that I was an apartheid hero, Coco. I wasn't. <laughs> when you were with me here, uh, oh, Trevor, you gave me a tough time. Why did I give you a tough time, Coco? Because you wanted to play in the street. And I knew the flying squad was going to take me. So if I was playing in the street, the police would have arrested me? Yeah. You know, there were kids who never knew what a white man was. So they thought I was white? They knew you were white. And they ran away. The kids ran away from me? You. But why did it they run away? First what? time they see a white man in the location. So for oh, them, I for them, you. this was white? Yeah. Wow. I feel so special now, Coco. Huh? To know there was a time that I was white. <laughs> <laughs> How old was I when this was happening, Coco? Three years. Three years old. Mm -hmm. I was a very good looking baby, I'm sure. <sighs> yeah? Energetic and very naughty. But mostly good looking. Like hell. Yeah. I'm sure, Coco. When I was here with you, what did you do when I was naughty? Those big bumps. <laughs> they know my slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Who was naughty, Coco? Me or my mom? You were both. You'd never tell Patricia what to do. No. She did what she wanted to do, and she was good at her work. Oh, you know how mom is. Yeah. Yeah. Must yeah. always go up. Yeah. He, she takes no defeat. Mm. Instead of defeat, you are challenging the wrong person. So she was not only a black person in a job black people weren't supposed to be in, but she was a manager of white people. What? How, how, but how did they allow that? How do I know, Trevor? And now I'm also a manager of white people, Coco. Yeah. Unbelievable. It comes from your mother, don't It you? comes from my mother, Gogo. Do you know I'm a manager of white people, Gogo? You don't say. I'm, I'm telling you, Gogo. The white people who work for me. It's a pity because I don't even wish to see where you stay. <laughs> <laughs> Flying over the sea like this? No, not for me. <laughs> Gogo, have you, ever, have you ever watched The Daily Show? No, Trevor. I did get my little shooting. <laughs> so I cannot. I want a lot of DSTV, lot dish outside uh, there. It's just there for fun. My grand said she doesn't watch my show because sometimes the electricity cuts out. 
Which is a very plausible excuse and a nice way to let your grandson down. No, it's not letting my grandson down. <laughs> <laughs> Even yesterday with him, we had no electricity. Mm. Mm. No, I, I hear you, Gogo. This is, I didn't expect that answer. It's a, it's a good answer, Gogo. So I must make sure that you have a generator so you can watch my show. Okay. And then if it is a low generator. Who fits the generator? Uh, okay, so I must get someone to fit the generator also. I think so. Okay. And I look I I, I look the park, I look now with the STV. Oh and then I must also fix the 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 cable. Okay. Hmm. Hey. I feel like I've been tricked into doing a lot of things for you to watch my TV show go go. As long as place. <laughs> Thank you for having us, Gogo, and thank you for letting me bring these cameras. And thank you for sharing these stories with my friends. And thank you for being amazing. You've brought so many friends. I've brought too many friends, Gogo. You guys must leave now. <laughs>